What is good y'all? Welcome back to another shoe review video. I reviewed these shoes after hooping them for a week and now it's been about two months. This video is really just to highlight the differences between two weeks and two months of hooping in these shoes. Any cosmetic stuff and physical like performance based stuff I will be pointing out. If I did happen to miss anything that you want to know about these shoes hit me in the comments. I'll be sure to get back to you right quick. What you've seen so far is the shoes are brand new. And this is the Mellow Ball 2 after hooping in them every day for about two months. We're going to go from top to bottom. Very first, probably second hoop session, this turned like five shades darker. The whole shoe got darker in general. This top part is beat up more than shoes are usually beat in this area. It's getting destroyed. Not on the, the outside though. Really, it's just the inside. Usually, it's both sides. Shoelaces are fraying very badly. Uh, not the tips though, starting a little bit, but like they're still good. Pretty much identical on both shoes, by the way. Like I said, inside actually worse on this shoe. Uh, outside, almost just fine. Yeah, it's getting almost <laughs> brown. It's starting to turn brown right here on the toe box. Kind of gross. Um, scuffs everywhere. Let me do a scuff montage real quick. Scuff, 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 scuffs, scuff. I feel like this shoe is really gonna start tearing up right here. This where it pinches right here. You can see if you bend the shoe right here. That's where it pinches. That's where it's gonna go first if you're gonna get a hole in the shoe at all. These durability wise are not that bad. I have been killing these shoes. Uh, it may look pretty beat up, but this is just how all my shoes look after a while hooping in them. Cause a lot of people hoop, but a lot of people don't hoop like me. Go watch, go watch the videos if you don't believe me. A lot of compression lines along the whole shoe. It means it's working, I guess. Next, we're gonna go down to the grip. Uh, it's holding up very surprisingly well. I'll do a little scan. Do a little close up. So this is the toe. This is where the most damage has been done. Just barely, it's fading away at the very edges, like right around here. Besides that, it's holding up on the all, all sides, like really well. You might even be able to hoop in these outdoor just a little bit. I wouldn't push your luck, but definitely like possible. These do pick up a lot of stuff off of the court. I never wear these off the court. I'm a hoop purist. I would never do that. That's so disrespectful. But yeah, besides this little toe area right here, literally nothing. So on the left shoe, the top layer of the insole is peeled up. Let me see if I can show y'all. You can see in here, it's all peeled up. Uh, other shoe completely fine didn't happen so i'm guessing it's just like bad gluing but yeah i gotta lay it down every time before i hoop it doesn't slip at all but it's not glued down i don't know how that works it's not slipping though shoelaces are dirty as hell disgusting gross whatever adjective you would like to use that's all of the cosmetic stuff let me get into the performance stuff i'll show you some clips of me hooping in them uh, while I'm talking over it. We'll go from the bottom up. Uh, the grip is holding up pretty good. I have had a couple instances where I have slipped out though. If I'm doing like a really hard cut, usually at the end of the game, which is super annoying, I will slip out and my shoes just fail me. Uh, but on a dusty court, they hold up better than most other people's shoes that are hooping on the same court as me. It's just that really hard cuts, I'll slip out, which is kind of frustrating. The cushion is still amazing. Uh, really good cushion, real comfortable. That's where most of the weight of the shoe comes from. It's a real bottom heavy shoe. Uh, some people don't like that. I really don't mind it. Next, let's talk about the lockdown. Lockdown, I'm gonna be honest, is not amazing. I'm gonna give that like seven out of 10, not too crazy. Not my favorite thing about this shoe. I don't feel like I can tie the shoe super tight. In the last review, I said that you couldn't tie uh, the shoe really tight because it cuts off circulation. Someone suggested in a comment that I skip the second to last shoelace hole, and then I did that, and then I can tie it a little bit tighter. It's, it's been better. But the shoe lockdown is not amazing. I'm gonna give that like a seven out of 10. I, it, I'll give it a, I'll give it a six out of 10. It's not, it's not great. It's kind of frustrating. I can't tie the shoe all, all the way like I would like to. Um, I don't know if this is the shoe or me, but these, but these things stink. These are disgusting smelling. Ankle support. My ankles feel super secure wearing these, uh, but I've had other people say that their ankles have been hurt wearing these, which is not a good thing. Uh, me personally, I've never experienced anything like that. I feel like it has great ankle protection for me. 
The drip on these shoes, I've updated my opinion. I am not a fan of the silhouette, but what they did with the design of the shoe makes the silhouette look good. I don't like any other colorways of this shoe. Yeah, this is the this is in my opinion the best colorway of the shoe. All in all, this is not a bad shoe. Uh, I love this shoe. This is in my top five shoes of all time. It's just a lockdown. I wish it was better, and I slip out sometimes when I'm going like real hard, which is like the best time to have grip. Uh, if you want to know more about my shoe opinions, I'm doing a shoe tier list with all of my shoes that I have on me still, and then I'll probably do a throwback to some I've hooped in and what I remember about those. Since I don't have mommy, I can't really like give you like the most in-depth, detailed review on them. Uh, but just off memory, I can say what I think about them. I 100% approve of these shoes. If you want to hoop in these shoes, hoop in them. If you like to look at them, get them. Um, that's going to be it for the video. I appreciate you watching. Leave a like if it helped out at all. If you have any questions about this shoe, I might have answered it in my last video on this shoe. If not, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Comment what you want to see next. And yeah, I'm going to see you all next time.